Luann Zimmerman, and I am a whiskey painter. Whiskey painters began, uh, there was a, an industrialist, he, who was also an artist, that traveled all the time in the 1950s, and people didn't believe he was an artist. He looked more like a football player or something. So he made a little palette and brushes and papers he'd keep in his jacket, and when he was waiting for a meal or for transportation, he'd sit down and do little watercolors on these papers, but he'd wet his brush in whatever he was drinking at the time, and it usually was a martini. And people were fascinated by these paintings being created that gather around, and they would call them his whiskey paintings, and that he was the whiskey painter. And he got to be pretty famous traveling all over the country. He told his painting group about it, how much fun it was, because people would know him. He had friends wherever he went. And so they thought it was a great idea. After their art club meetings, they would go to a local pub, and they would all sit around and do these little paintings. And that would gather a crowd. So they made it official in 1962. And when they did that, they limited it and made some rules. They limited it to 150 members at any one time. You have to be sponsored by another whiskey painter. They can only sponsor one during their lifetime, so you have to be very selective about who you sponsor. Uh, you used to have to do your paintings after 10 o'clock at night in a bar by candlelight using whiskey for water. You don't really have to. You can do them in your studio now, but you still put whiskey in your water and uh, it can be any kind, any form of whiskey. The paintings can't be any larger though than like an old fashioned photograph, like three and a half by five and a half, something that would fit in a jacket pocket. So they all become miniatures. Um, the artists that were doing this and still do this normally work in large format. They large, do large paintings normally, but they do this especially for the whiskey painting shows. And they're only a couple a year that they host, but it's been so well received in Augusta. It's really, because these are wonderful little originals that you can put just about any place in your house. I started collecting them, you know, and I thought I had four or five, and I started counting. I've got about 20 at home. <laughs> and I just realized, I mean, they're in all kinds of places all over my house because they're wonderful little jewels. You can kind of remember when you got them, and they're from different parts of the country. So there's some from Arizona and you can see the rock formations and things in Arizona. There's some of the snow from Ohio, birds, animals, um, figures, all kinds of subjects. So it's a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs>